Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well today. So tonight's video, I say tonight because I've just logged off of work. It's a Friday and I'm going to be filming like a little pamper evening with me. I've been kind of planning to do this this Friday. So I just thought why not film it and show you guys because I've honestly been film filming. I've honestly been feeling really rubbish lately. I feel like I just don't one i think it's because i'm not tan like i don't like fake tan anymore because i just can't deal with the smell if anybody has some good fake tan recommendations that don't really smell let me know um and i just don't you know really take care of myself i think because i haven't been leaving the house a whole lot i've just been in a little bit of you know that kind of mood where like i'm just being a slob i don't leave the house I haven't been eating well and yeah, so I've kind of been looking forward to this little self-care Friday evening. Um, so I've just logged off of work and I'm about to go get my nails done. So I thought I'd start the video here. These are like three years old, three years, imagine three years old gels, three weeks old. I don't think they're gonna focus, but gels are just really outgrown and I'm kind of feeling acrylics. I'm just gonna kind of switch up a little bit and I think I'm gonna do ombre, which again is kind of random, but I think I'm gonna do ombre acrylics, just mix it up. I did get my feet done yesterday, I went and had a gel pedicure. If I can book it in two different appointments, I will, because having a pedicure and then get your nails done in just one whole session, it's just a lot, I get very fidgety. So I went and got my feet done yesterday and I'm gonna go get my nails done. So I thought I'd start the vlog off here. I'm literally so sweaty. I don't know if I look sweaty, but I ordered a new Hoover, which came today, and it's like a plug-in Hoover, so it's really heavy compared to the cordless one I had. And I'm like, literally out of breath. And I also did a little self-care order, a little haul, so I'm going to show you guys that as well when I get back for my nails. So the plan for tonight is I've just logged off of work. I'm going to go get my nails done, come back, show you guys the little self-care things I picked up. I'm going to have a really like full body shower wash my hair because my hair's not been washed in about a week like just wash oh i'm going to do a hair mask i might do a hair mask wash my hair like a full body shower skincare have a nice dinner I'm very excited this is the ideal kind of friday for me so i thought i would bring you guys along a little nail shop outfit of the day i'm wearing this tracksuit from pretty little thing this wide leg one it's so comfortable um so the jacket from rocket and then my new tote bag which did actually unbox in a vlog but i'm not sure if that vlog will be up before this one i've just come back from the nail shop and is there anything worse than coming out the nail shop and like just knowing that you absolutely hate your nails like and you've spent 40 pounds on them like basically i was really just craving like long i will show you my inspiration picture that i literally showed her as well that was like the vibe that i wanted and it's so short so when i picked the length they were a little bit shorter than i wanted i was like oh shit but they weren't that short but she spent like she filed them i feel why do i feel bad like i feel bad saying that. she filed them so much i would not stop filing and i was just watching all this length go away the right hand's not as bad it's like a tiny bit longer i mean they're still really short and like the pink acrylic doesn't even go all the way down to the bottom of the nail bed so it kind of looks like i've had them done for a week if you know what i mean i mean i was never going to say anything but you know when you just walk out and you're like i'm literally like, <laughs> just really craving like long acrylics like really craving but it's fine i am feeling kind of down like i said so not down but like just not been putting effort into myself so i wanted to do a self-care little order so i'm going to show you guys what i picked up from boots i'm just going to firstly show you guys what i'm most excited about i got the drunk elephant la la retro whipped cream i've worn this for ages i feel like it's been out of stock for a while and then it came back in stock on boots and i feel like i try to not buy anything full price like i feel like i really don't buy much full price but this i was like you know what i'm just gonna buy it. yeah i got this um face moisturizer which i'm just a bit um i got this vaseline deodorant this was just really screaming clean to me i feel like it's gonna smell cucumbers so i got that i got the l'oreal l i can't fly now like every time i look at them I'm like l'oreal lv dream length super blow dry cream I don't know if I picked this up because I don't blow dry my hair, but I just thought it might make my hair nice and smooth. I wanted to try an eye cream, so I ordered this because it was quite affordable. It's the Inky List 
caffeine eye cream although it does say it's for tired eyes and it reduces the appearance of tired eyes i don't know if i necessarily have tired eyes i just wanted an eye cream to add to my skincare routine and this was like eight pounds i think so i picked that up i just picked up another one of my saint moritz tan boosting face drops i actually really like these i used to use the tan lux ones which are about 15 pounds and these are eight and i feel like they're just as good so you get quite a lot of serum in it as well so mix it with my face moisturizer picked up some floss because i feel like i've not flossed in a really long time and that's just very clean to me like when you floss every night so i picked up some floss and then i also got like a little bit of a glow because i'm feeling really pale um the dove summer revive tanning gradual lotion which i already use it's normally eight pound fifty i feel like this camera is broken because it just goes out of focus all the time it drives me crazy um yeah media wait what was it oh yeah usually eight pound fifty which is astronomical it never used to be that much and it's four pound 25 like 50 percent off right now so yeah that's everything that i picked up from boots like a little self-care hello everybody i've been trying to find a good angle in this bathroom for like five minutes and i've just had to balance you on the radiator so it's a very low shot um but listen it's not it's saturday it's not the same day anymore and i know it's so ridiculous but after i got my nails done and i hated them <laughs> it just put me in a bad like not a bad mood but i just wasn't in the mood to have a pamper anymore so i'm now doing a pamper today my hair is greasy i need to wash it and i haven't done like a pamper obviously because i never filmed it so yeah it's a different day but we're st it's still the same premise we're having a little pamper my hair is greasy i am going out tomorrow so i want to just feel a little bit more put together i need to like pluck my eyebrows have a shower wash my hair i'm gonna do a face mask i'm gonna shave like just like the everything shower where you feel like you're gonna faint when you get out that's the kind of thing that i need right now you can literally see my hunchback in, in the reflection but i'm gonna show you guys the products that i use when i want to do a pamper when i you know the kind of things that i use so i'm first going to do a hair mask i like that to kind of sit in my hair the longest so actually i use this i use the philip kingsley elasticizer and it just says that the longest you keep the longer you keep it on the better so i usually keep this on for like an hour so i'm going to start off with this i haven't actually used a lot of this i think i just always put off using this because you have to put this onto wet hair and I don't have like a little, you know, like a, what they call like a little handheld shower. I don't really get in the shower, like get all wet, get out, get dry, and then have to get back in the shower an hour later. Like that just seems really annoying to me. So I kind of try and wet it over the sink, but it's really difficult because this is really low and there's not like, you know, there's not a lot of room here. But I'm going to try like half wet my hair and then I just, yeah, put the whole thing in this Philip Kingsley um, elasticizer. And it also comes with a little shower cap that you're supposed to put it on so it kind of i don't know i like, guess sits and like absorbs up my hair is growing a little bit and i keep every single day i get the urge to just cut it all off and have a really short bob so i can't really decide but we're going to do a hair mask in the meantime but so basically just try to kind of wet all of the hair under the sink and it's annoying because the water gets i mean to be fair it would probably be easier just to get in the shower and get wet but i just don't like to do that, I don't want to. Ow! <laughs> what a sight. <laughs> Once my hair is kind of as wet as I can get it really under the tap, give it a comb through, then we can put the treatment through. And I do do it like all up to my roots as well because I'm going to be washing my hair anyway, so. And then we have to put the shower cap on, which you know, is not the most attractive thing in the world. And I don't actually know what it does. I know that it just came with it, so we just put the shower cap on. I'm going to let that sit in my hair for about an hour. I'm also going to do a face mask. I have a couple of sheets that I could do. I have like some body shop ones, but I think I'm just gonna do, I have this like small kind of mini Charlotte Tilbury clay mask. Um, this visibly lifts, smooths, brightens and tightens pores for 
baby skin and I can't remember how long you leave this on for um I'll leave for 10 minutes then massage and rinse up with warm water so yeah I'm gonna put on some of this that kind of works let me put the light on oh my god I just slipped in the water it works so I'm just gonna I usually like to have like a kind of face brush to put a face mask on but I don't actually have a spare one right now so I'm just gonna spread the mask with both thing, fingers fingers and it does say a thin layer so not very attractive in this um shower cap I feel like camper routines are obviously supposed to be relaxing but I do find that I get quite stressed <laughs> It's like, you know, we have the everything shower and it's just exhausting. Like, it all needs to be done. Like, I, and I want to do it. Like, I want to feel pampered. But I also, I think when you do everything all at once, it actually can be quite stressful. Um, and I think that's why as well, after I come back from the nail shop and I was a bit like, oh, I hate my nails. I really couldn't bother to do the whole, like, shebang of a pamper. So... I think this should be the thumbnail. <laughs> I do actually need to sort out my little skincare section. So I might as well do that now while that's um, face mask sinks in. So I just have a little box like this in my drawer. And this has like all of my kind of skincare goodies in it. But some of the stuff needs to be kind of sorted and chucked out. I have two of these. Um, body shop body lotion to oils which i got i think for christmas and i haven't used them yet um i feel like this is probably more of a summer um like body care item so i'm gonna leave that let me actually go and get my boots order so i can refill so we have the boots order so i'm gonna do like a sort out and refill so this is my old are these yeah these are my old saint Moritz tanning drops that need to be chopped out you can actually see if i grab the new ones that the cap is like obviously where I always use it, it's all yellow. I don't know if you can see, but in the bin, and then I've got my new ones to use. This Charlotte Tilbury, I have a little mini magic cream, which I love so much, but I don't want to buy the big size. I literally have like maybe two uses left of this. I was so surprised how much I liked this. Um, we have my toner, that's fine. Um, I ran out of this. Oh my god, I ran out of this. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel and i do really like this i do have oily skin so i do find like water gels and things work quite well but i don't know if i mentioned this in my haul when i did the boots haul but when i use the tanning drops with a water gel formula i feel like it just doesn't work as well i feel like maybe they don't combine like as nicely when you use a drop with a water gel opposed to a cream so that's the only reason that i didn't repurchase this but i think in the summer this is a really great moisturizer especially if you're not using tanning drops and things so i probably will repurchase this but this can go and that could be replaced with my Drunk Elephant Cream. I have already used this and it's a really thick cream. Like I did read that it was thick, but it's thick and it kind of smells like Play-Doh as well, but it hasn't broken me out. Like I always find if a product isn't gonna work with me, like I'll wake up the next day with a really painful spot and that hasn't happened. So yeah, I feel like my skin's quite hydrated. I mean, I've literally used it like twice, but I can replace that now. Oh, there's all hairs in this box. Also put my floss in my tooth, tooth box. Now my skincare, like self-care little box, I feel like it's a lot more organised. It's got all my new bits in it. I'm going to rinse off with this face mask and then I've got about, I'll probably keep the hair mask in for like another half hour and I need to like clean and hoover anyway. So I'm going to do a little bit of that in my shower cap whilst it sinks into my hair and then I'll catch up with you guys once I'm out of the shower and we can do all our skincare. Time for a little skincare routine. I had like an everything shower. You know how sometimes when you get up and everything shower, like you're literally exhausted and you feel like you're gonna pass out. Thankfully, I didn't feel like that, like it was actually fine. Um, but I'm gonna tone my face. I'm using the Body Shop Vitamin E Hydrating Toner on a cotton pad. Okay, so for moisturizer, like I said, Use this a couple of times now, the Lala Retro Whipped Cream, and it is so 
thick like if you don't like a thick moisturizer you definitely will not like this but and to be fair i wouldn't have liked this a few months ago but after trying the charlotte tilbury um magic cream which is a really thick like whipped cream i actually really liked it so it kind of changed my mind on thicker cream so i actually really like this the only thing i feel like it smells of play-doh i don't really know what that's about but i do a pump of that and i love the packaging of this like i feel like it's such a treat you just push i'll show you guys when i do it and then i do um two pumps of the saint moritz tan drops in the moisturizer and then mix it together and i feel like that takes about six hours or so to develop so it's good to do it before bed and then like when you wake up in the morning you'll have just a little bit of a glow on your face and i haven't found so far for regular drinks as you can see my bed's very white i haven't found any kind of like staining on the pillows i'm probably going to wake up tomorrow and my pillows are going to be like dark brown because i've said that but so far i find that it doesn't really stain the pillows and i've gone through a whole bottle of it so i do two pumps and then this is the like how cool is this push it and then the perfect amount comes out i actually do a tiny bit more two drops even of the tan and stuff and just mix it all together and obviously make sure once you put this in to once you rub this in to wash hands otherwise you'll have like stained orange hands also using the inky list caffeine eye cream again i've only used this a couple of times so i don't really know if it's doing anything to be honest I also actually bought this the other day as well, the Waleda Skin Food, but it's the lip balm. Yeah, I quite like it to be fair. The only thing I find with lip balms is once I start applying them, I feel like I just need them on constantly or my lips aren't, they're not like dry as in like peeling, but I just feel like I need a lip balm on. Um, it's like your lips kind of get used to it almost, but hmm. at the moment I quite like it. I did actually want to try the Skin Food cream, but I've already bought that Drunk Elephant one, so don't need to got my new vaseline deodorant can confirm it does smell fresh it doesn't smell of cucumbers as i thought it was gonna but it still feels, feels it still smells pretty good and then i'm gonna put on my dove gradual summer tan moisturizer put it all over my body and again i find this like doesn't really show until the next morning like it needs a good six seven hours to kind of give your skin a little bit of a glow but yeah, I'm going to apply this all over my body. And also, the last thing I do as well for my feet, I use just a normal um, body moisturiser. I use the Garnier Body Superfood um, Cream. I had the aloe vera one. I actually ordered the avocado one, but they sent this one instead. But the aloe vera one smells so good. Like, it smells so fresh. So, if I'm not using the Dove stuff, I will use this all over my body. Um, but just for today, I'm just going to use it on my feet. So my feet stay hydrated after my pedicure, you know? So yeah, I'm going to moisturize. I'm going to try this um, LV Dream Length blow dry cream I got. I don't really blow dry my hair, but I just feel like I have the frizziest, like poofiest hair. Mm, my hair smells really nice. Um, and sometimes if like I'm actually doing something, I feel like I need to blow dry it. This Dream Length range... Honestly, smells unreal. Like, I wish I could have this in a body spray. Did I already say that? I might have already said that, but I just love this stuff. I don't really know how much of this to use. It doesn't say it just says apply on damp hair. Nourish length. It's also a heat protection in it as well. So I'm going to do, I don't know, like that much. Is that a lot? And just, God, I thought that was a lot. Run it through my hair. Do I put it on the root? Doesn't say to avoid the root. This is literally the best hair dryer ever. I had hair extensions, this hair dryer was a literal godsend. It dries your hair so quickly. It's the GHD Helios one. I mean, it might damage the shit out of your hair. I don't know, because it's just, it's so powerful and it dries your hair so quickly. So if you have a lot of hair, I mean, I don't anymore, but if you have a lot of hair, this is like the best hair dryer to get it dry. Let's plug it in, that might help. I, I still feel 
feel like my hair is literally huge. Like I, I don't know, to be fair, might be hard. Mm, my hair is actually usually bigger than this. Like if I let it air dry, like my hair's actually out here. So it's actually a little more tame, but it's still really, really poofy. So I guess it, maybe the blow dry cream worked a little, but then to be fair, that could have been doing the hair mask that made it like not go as poofy when I've dried it. Um, it could be either to be honest, but definitely I'm going to give it like half hour just to like settle and then I will be straightening it. I thought I would finish the video now that I'm all ready after my pamper. Did somebody say catfish? My hair feels so soft. I feel like it looks really shiny as well, but I don't know whether that was the, the new like L'Oreal Dream Lengths blowout cream that I got or whether it was the hair mask that I did. It could have been like a little bit of both. I'm not really sure. But yeah, the gradual tan, I feel like, I think it gives you like a little glow, but it's definitely not like a tan. You're not going to wake up tanned, um, but the face drops definitely give you more of a colour. I mean, you can literally, because they're drops, you can intensify them as much as you want. I find if I use more than two drops, I look a little orange. Like, I feel like two drops for me is like the sweet spot. Like, if I use one drop, I can't even tell, but... Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little pamper routine with me. I'm still not a fan of my nails, not gonna lie, but I'm probably gonna go back in the next couple of weeks, get them off and then get like some long nude acrylics, I think. Um, hopefully it goes a little bit better. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little pamper evening vlog with me. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and also subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more of the types of videos and I will see you in the next one.